Welcome to Graphic Hunt YouTube channel. In this photo manipulation tutorial, let's start learning to create an pop-up of a subject out of a raw photograph. This is the original photograph I'll be using here. And this is the final image we get after performing all steps. Let's start. After opening the image, duplicate the background layer by simply hitting Ctrl and J in Windows or Command and J in Macintosh. Or else simply drag the background layer to new layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. As the background copy layer is selected here, I'm going to hold the Ctrl key and click on the create new layer icon in the layers panel which creates a blank new layer right below the selected layer. Press D in keyboard to set the foreground and background colors to defaults. With layer 1, selected hold control key and hit the delete key which fills the layer with white. Pick up any of the selection tools you are familiar with from the tools bar. Make a selection over the main subject on the photo. Here in my case, I use the pen tool to create paths over the boundaries of the subject. Once done, press the right mouse button and select make selection. Hold Ctrl and hit J in keyboard to copy the selected area in a new layer. Pick the rectangular marquee tool from the tools bar. Now again select the background copy layer within the layers palette. Make a selection around the rest of the photo we want to keep. Hit the add new layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel. This will add a layer mask to background copy layer, and because we had part of the layer selected, only the area inside the selection will remain visible. The rest of the photo that fell outside of the selection will now be hidden from view. We can now see the popping out effect taking place. Let's add a stroke to the smaller photo, that is the background copy by just double clicking on the layer's thumbnail. This brings up the layer style window, in that directly click on the stroke in the styles column. Roughly adjust the size that suits fine depending on the size and resolution of your image. And here I leave the position to inside and change the fill color by just picking up a light color from the photograph itself.
hit OK when done. One more thing I forgot is that applying an outer glow effect which is also optional here that we can do to bring up more enhancement. Finally to differentiate our main subject apart from rest of the image, let's apply some shadow effect. Again double click on the top layer in the layers panel and click on drop shadow. If you are familiar with Photoshop's techniques, you can just play with all the modes yourself. Or if you are a beginner there's nothing to matter, you can just focus closer on the adjustments I do. Finally I find this much impressing and end up with the result, I hope you enjoyed well and wish you all success in your creativity, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.